गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट डेवलपमेंट ऑफ पैंक्रियाज पैंक्रियाज डेवलप फ्रॉम टू एंडोडामल वर्ड्स वन इज द डॉर्सल पैंक्रियाटिक बर्ड एंड अनदर वन इज द वेंट्रल पैंक्रियाटिक बर्ड एंड दीज बर्ड्स एराइज नियर द जंक्शन ऑफ फोर गट एंड मिड गट एंड अमंग दीज द वेंट्रल पैंक्रियाटिक बर्ड एराइज जस्ट कॉडल टू द हिपैटिक बर्ड इन द फर्स्ट डायग्राम यू कैन सी this is the uh, ventral pancreatic bud and here this is the ventral pancreatic bud and this one is the dorsal bud dorsal bud is uh, arising on the dorsal aspect of the developing duodenum and ventral bud is ventral to this and uh, you can see the ventral bud is just near the origin of hepatic bud and from this hepatic bud bile duct and uh, gall bladder and the liver is developing and the part which is near the ventral bud it is forming the bile duct so this greenish part is will form the bile duct so ventral bud and bile duct developing bile duct both are nearer to each other and um, the dorsal bud develops uh, first uh, around uh, fourth week of intrauterine life and ventral bud uh, bud develops later than the dorsal bud this ventral bud is forming the lower part of the head and uncinate process this is bluish one is the ventral bud which is forming the lower part of the head and uncinate process of the pancreas rest of the pan, uh, part of the pancreas that is the upper part of the head neck body and tail they all are developing from the dorsal bud here you can see the dorsal bud which is larger and uh, it is cranial to the ventral bud vent uh, and the ventral bud is smaller and it is nearer the bile duct now change in position of the pancreatic bud due to differential growth of the wall of the duodenum this ventral pancreatic bud moves and uh, it will move and it will go uh, on the posterior part of the developing duodenum and it will rotate and it will come to the just caudal part of the uh, dorsal pancreatic bud like this this is dorsal bud and this is the ventral bud and rotation is uh, ventral bud with the bile duct both rotates and uh, reach on the medial side of the duodenum and just caudal to the dorsal bud now this ventral and dorsal bud fuses at around 7th uh, week of intrauterine life and it will it will form a single pancreatic tissue in this diagram you can see the uh, two buds has uh, ventral and dorsal has come on the medial side of uh, the duodenum and now the ducts of the ventral and dorsal pancreatic bud anastomose with each other this is duct of dorsal pancreatic bud and this is duct of ventral pancreatic duct both anastomose with each other now what happens the distal part of the ventral pancreatic bud this part will be degenerated and uh, the rest of this uh, part it uh, this will form the uh, main pancreatic duct this part proximal part of the ventral pancreatic bud anastomosis and the distal part of the dorsal pancreatic bud all three together will form the main pancreatic duct and the part of the dorsal pancreatic proximal part of the dorsal pancreatic duct this part it will form the accessory pancreatic duct so this is the formation of the main and accessory pancreatic duct the main pancreatic duct is also called as duct of virsung and accessory pancreatic duct is also called as duct of santorini the main pancreatic duct you can see it is opening distally in the pancreas this is opening at the major duodenal papilla which is 8 cm distal to the pylorus and the accessory pancreatic duct opening into the minor duodenal papilla which is from uh, which is 8 cm proximal to the uh, sorry 8 cm distal to the uh, pylorus and this is 10 cm distal to the pylorus this is how the ducts are formed 
now parenchyma of the pancreas it is endodermal in origin and it is developing from the pancreatic bud now what happens the pancreatic bud give branches in the surrounding mesoderm so this is the uh, bud and it is giving branches into the surrounding mesoderm now in the surrounding mesoderm the SNI uh, at the terminal part of these branches here the uh, cell clusters will form the SNI just like this the SNI are formed and these SNI will form the exocrine part of the pancreas which will secrete the uh, pancreatic juices so the pancreatic ducts are formed by branching of the pancreatic bud and these branches will form the pancreatic ducts and around these duct cell clusters uh, are formed which are forming the SNI. So the cell clusters which are related with the duct will form the SNI which secrete the pancreatic enzymes and the branches are forming the pancreatic ducts. Now the isolated cell clusters these are the cell clusters which are not related with any ducts these will form the islets of Langerhans. So islets of Langerhans formed by the isolated cell clusters which are not related with the ducts and uh, these uh, islets of Langerhans start insulin secretion at around 10th week of intrauterine life. Rest of the con uh, connected tissue, blood vessels, capsules, septa they all are developing from the surrounding mesoderm. Now coming to the congenital anomaly, most important is the annular pancreas. Uh, the, uh, in which uh, the ventral pancreatic bud which is initially bifid and it will fuse to form a single mass but in the uh, condition of annular pancreas this ventri ventral pancreatic bud remain bifid and one part of the this uh, bud is going anterior to the uh, second part of the duodenum and one part is going posterior to the second part of the duodenum and it will and both masses fuses with each other and they will form a single and uh, pancreatic tissue that is annular pancreas and around the second part of the duodenum so it will obstruct the lumen of the so lumen of the uh, duodenum and that will lead to duodenal stenosis or duodenal obstruction so what is happening in annular pancreas the bifid ven bifid ventral pancreatic bud is there and uh, one part of the ventral pancreatic bud is going on the anterior to the duodenum and one part is going posterior to the duodenum and normally what happens the, the whole ventral pancreatic bud goes posterior to the duodenum and it will come on the medial side of the duodenum and fuses uh, and uh, come on the caudal part of the duodenum and then they will both fuses and form a single pancreatic tissue it occurs in normal condition but in condition of normal uh, uh, annular pancreas both pancreatic birds are going in opposite direction one is going anterior to the duodenum one is posterior to the duodenum they will encircle the second part of the duodenum and form a collar of pancreatic tissue around the second part of the duodenum which will obstruct the lumen of the duodenum and due to uh, duodenal obstruction their uh, patient may have uh, vom vomiting after few hours of birth and in x-ray or sonography there may be bubble double bubble appearance one bubble is due to proximal part of the duodenum this one and one bubble is due to prog uh, stomach dilatation of the stomach so this is annular pancreas now one condition is divided pancreas in which dorsal and ventral pancreatic buds fail to fuse and even the duct also fail to fuse with each other so both ducts are opening separately into the duodenum this condition is divided pancreas now uh, accessory pancreatic tissue or the ectopic pancreatic tissue in which heterotropic masses or nodules of the pancreatic tissue may be present near the uh, the uh, wall of the in the wall of the duodenum or the Meckel's diverticulum or in the gallbladder or uh, in the lower part of the esophagus or in the wall of stomach so these are the sites of ectopic pancreatic tissue so that's all about development of pancreas thank you